So I just bought Madden NFL 22, and the first thing I wanted to do was send Aaron Rodgers to the Denver Broncos. Something that seemed possible during the offseason, but it just never materialized. Rodgers is stuck in Green Bay in this awkward marriage with a front office he doesn't like, at least for another year. Uh, and we're just not going to be able to see him throw the ball to Jerry, Judy, Cortland Sutton, Noah Fant, Tim Patrick, K.J. Hamler, Melvin Gordon. They're just not going to be able to play with Aaron Rodgers. Not in real life, anyway. But we can do it in Madden. So I went into franchise mode. I picked the Denver Broncos. I tried to trade three draft picks. Two first, one second. Two first uh, star players. It wasn't happening. The Packers weren't budging. They would not give up Rodgers. It's probably because none of these would be great deals. Uh, it would take way more to get Aaron Rodgers. Unfortunately, in franchise mode, you can only send three thing stops. Three things <laughs> in a trade package. So, yeah, none of, none of these worked, surprisingly. Von Miller in two firsts didn't work. Bradley Chubb in two firsts didn't work. Two firsts in one second. Of course, none of these are going to work. It would take way more than that to get Aaron Rodgers. So I had to change course. I went ahead and added a second team to my franchise mode. I added the Green Bay Packers. And so now we have to imagine a scenario in which the Green Bay Packers actually do want to trade Aaron Rodgers. Shockingly, now that I control the Green Bay Packers, it ended up being way easier to put Aaron Rodgers in the different Broncos. I offered the Broncos Rodgers, I wanted a couple of first round picks and a second round pick, and the Broncos were all in. They loved this idea because it would be a stupid, stupid trade. Uh, but this is all I could do. This is really the only option I had. I went ahead and, in a second trade, I gave them more picks and took on a mediocre player uh, in exchange. So so now they have, what, six, six, six future picks. So I, I, did, I did the best that I could do. But there you go. Aaron Rodgers is now on the different Broncos. I went ahead and put the Packers on autopilot. I tried to just delete the team for my franchise, but I guess you can't do that. Or If you know how to do that, let me know, because I, I don't care about the Packers now. Uh, so I put them on the autopilot, and now we got Aaron Rodgers on the Denver Broncos. This is going to be pretty damn sweet. Look at this. You got Rodgers, quarterback. Bridgewater and Drew Locke as his backups. Melvin Gordon and Javante Williams in the backfield. Royce Freeman still there. We got the wide receiver core. I love this wide receiver core, by the way, in real life. Just a fun group of young receivers. Uh, this is going to be fun. You know, it's not just Aaron Rodgers throwing it to Devontae Adams all the time. You know, we're actually going to see him you know, really spread the ball to these guys. Noah Fan. Uh, I noticed that the Broncos O-line could use some work on the right right side of the line. So I went and had I went ahead and in free agency I saw there were some interesting uh linemen available. I signed Mitchell Schwartz for a year and then I went ahead and signed David DeCastro for a year. I don't know how they are available. Uh, I don't even know what teams they're on right now, but hey, they're going to be a great help on this team. You know, we're, just, we're going all in. We're going to try to win the Super Bowl uh, with Aaron Rodgers year one. Tom Brady could do it on the Buccaneers in real life. Why not Aaron Rodgers? I also picked up Austin Reeder, or Ryder, uh, as starting center. Not the greatest center, but we don't really have much to work with. We can't really do a trade for uh, a star center at this point. I also signed Golden Tate to really just add another weapon on a team that already has a lot of weapons. And then I said Dam Damon Harrison 
defensive tackle. So, you know, we got a pretty damn good roster all of a sudden um, on this Denver Broncos team as we look a, look at the roster. Again, the depth chart, you know, Aaron Rodgers, the starting quarterback, of course, and you look at the wide receivers. Now we have Golden Tate, Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, Tim Patrick, K.J. Hamler. I mean, this is going to be disgusting. Uh... I'm hoping at least three receivers have a thousand yards by the end of the season, you know, 17 game season. You would hope that would be the case. And as you can see, the offensive line is looking pretty good now. The center and the right guard, right tackle positions have been vastly improved. So we are looking good. You know, this is looking like a Super Bowl team. We'll see how they compete against the Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, and Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills, Baker Mayfield and the Browns, the Steelers, the Ravens, Ryan Tannehill and the Titans. I mean, the AFC is a loaded conference now. Add Aaron Rodgers to the Broncos, and you just have a bloodbath, a bloodbath in the AFC. So here we have Aaron Rodgers at practice with his new squad, throwing it to Cortland Sutton right here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm imagining a lot of four wide receiver sets, you know, some sets with Noah Fant, and, you know, some dump-offs to Melvin Gordon, getting Melvin Gordon involved in the offense. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun, and we're just going to be slinging it. We're just going to sling it with Aaron Rodgers and this awesome receiving core. There's Jerry Judy right there scoring a touchdown. Uh, I wanted to do some practice in the red zone because I'm not a very good quarterback in the red zone uh, personally. So I wanted to get some practice there. But uh, yeah, I think this is looking pretty good. Here we are, week one with the Giants. Aaron Rodgers, first down, Cortland Sutton. It's 0 0 early in the first. I do eight minute quarters, by the way. Let me know what you do, but here he's throwing it to Noah Fant for a first down. Throwing it again to Sutton. He is cooking. Three for three. Perfect. Now we're in the red zone. He gives to gives it to Melvin Gordon for a touchdown. Seven nothing. Easy. Too easy. I mean, this team is just gonna be ridiculous all season. But now it's 7-10. Somehow the Giants were able to score 10 points. I don't believe it, but here's Aaron Rodgers getting a first down. Me not <laughs> knowing how to slide correctly. I'm still figuring out Madden 22. Uh, but here's Melvin Gordon with the first down. Now we're deep in Giants territory. Second quarter. Aaron Rodgers rolls out, throws it to Tim Patrick for the go-ahead touchdown. 14-10 Broncos. They're excited. I'm excited. Look at this throw. Beautiful. Aaron Rodgers, he's still got it. He's still got the goods. Now we're almost at halftime here. Two-minute drill. Javante Williams with a first down here to get the ball across midfield. Now Aaron Rodgers tosses it to Noah Fant near the 30-yard line. 35 seconds left. Now... He throws it to Cortland Sutton for a first down, and we're in the red zone, folks. Unfortunately, he throws a lob here that ends up being an interception. I saw the word lob, and I just lobbed it. And now that's a setting that I gotta turn off, because I can't have that anymore. Cortland Sutton with a first down. Now we're in the third quarter, 14-13. Broncos still hold a lead. And there's Aaron Rodgers throwing it to Golden Tate for a first down. Now we're in the red zone. Aaron Rodgers throws it to Tim Patrick, who almost scores a touchdown. Javante Williams finishes the job for him. It's 21-13. But now, it's 31-28. It's late in the fourth quarter. We got a two-minute drill we got to do here. And Cortland Sutton gets the first down. One minute and 13 seconds left. We're in no huddle. Javante Williams gets a short gain here. Clock is ticking. Here's Aaron Rodgers dropping back to pass. And Tim Patrick gets a first down. Timeout. 49 seconds. We're past midfield. 
Corlin Sutton in the slant. That play never fails. First down, 30 seconds left now. Aaron Rodgers is going to run for seven yard gain. 27 seconds left. 31 28. First down, Cortland Sutton. The clock is ticking. Call another timeout. And here we go. We're in the red zone. We've got 21 seconds left. What's Aaron Rodgers going to do? Throws it to Noah Fant for the game winning touchdown. Unbelievable. His first game as a Bronco. And Aaron Rodgers scores a game winning touchdown pass to Noah Fant. You love to see it. That is Noah Fant, by the way, isn't it? Number 87? I hope it is. Aaron Rodgers is happy. Daniel Jones not happy. Rodgers daps him up and says, Hey, kid, you did your best. As you can see here, Aaron Rodgers, 299 passing yards, two touchdowns, one pick. Daniel Jones somehow got three touchdowns and no picks. I guess he's really good in this game. Javante Williams, Melvin Gordon had a good yardage on the ground. Fant and Sutton over 100 yards receiving each. And the Broncos are looking pretty good. They face the Jags in week two. And let's see what Aaron Rodgers does against a really bad Jaguars team. Stay tuned. <laughs> 